Hey friends, it is halfway through the year. Truthfully, I cannot believe that. I only just realized it this week when I was like, oh, I wanna film a half year roundup of all the things that I made. Oh wait, I need to do that now because it's halfway through the year. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna be showing you all 18 pieces that I made this year. Crazy. It sounds like a lot. Truthfully, it does sound like a lot. And yet when I'm looking at some of these things, I'm like a bit bummed because I don't know that I wore them to like their fullest potential. And then at the end, I have a little announcement that I wanna share about how things are gonna keep going with this channel. So stay tuned until the end if you wanna see that. If you have been here before, then you know that I love the Nico dress from True Bias. It's by far my like most used pattern. And I loved this floral print. I honestly did not expect to like this as much as I do. I got this as an off cut from Core Fabrics. And and I was like, oh, I don't know if I'll actually like get any wear out of this, but I wore it a lot. It's a really fun dress to wear. It's super comfy because it's a knit. And yeah, I've made this pattern so many times. I've actually made it with one more dress this year. I'll show you. This is another Nico dress. It's in this very cool sheer mesh fabric. This was really fun. I really enjoyed dressing it a little bit more casually as well as like a little, you know, nice for like a nice night out. It's really fun to wear. It's also super light. I was wearing it a bit in the spring. The colors lean, like they feel like they lean a bit like darker like they lean a bit more towards like the winter but yeah i really li liked wearing this the only thing is that because it's a synthetic fabric i feel like it kind of gets stinky when i wear it even though it's so light which is why i don't really wear a lot of synthetic fabrics but i really enjoyed some of the techniques i used in this one like i did um a little lettuce hem you can maybe see that there uh, i did that also on the sleeves and I did this all like on my domestic sewing machine. So it's kind of fun when you can play around with a new technique that you've never used on like a pattern that you've made a lot. I really, uh, I wear these a lot. My, I have like, I think five or six Nikos at this point. So yeah. One of the bigger projects I tackled this year were the Jenny overalls. I think these are so fun. They turned out so cool. I've worn them a ton. I love this pattern. When I found this fabric years ago, I really wanted to make these overalls. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to make these because I wanted that sort of like vintage style, like hickory stripe denim overall. You see them a lot in vintage kids wear, like Oshkosh, but there's also like a ton of brands that have made them over the years, both like new and vintage. And I wanted my own pair and I wanted to make them myself. And I really loved it. They photograph horribly because of the stripes. But yeah, I tapered the legs on these and added a back bib. But yeah, these are my Jenny overalls from Closet Core. I love them. Um, they're such a fun make. Making overalls is like, it feels like a superpower. Like it's not as challenging as you might think it is, but like it's super fun. Okay, my like all time favorite thing that I made this year so far is this cardigan. This is cardigan number seven. You might hear the rain right now because it's really coming down. But this is cardigan number seven from My Favorite Things Knitwear. Yeah, I, I love this cardigan. I think I wear it like multiple times a week and it made me really realize that I need more cardigans. I would even make this pattern again because I enjoyed the pattern and I really like knitting it. A lot of people don't like cardigans because you have to knit flat, you knit like obviously knit and then purl, but I didn't mind it. I found that it made it go by really like really quickly. This was a really like relatively quick project, especially because it's bulky yarn. And I used Noro for the first time and you can see that gentle striping and I held it with mohair. I will say it's maybe a little bit itchy, but I didn't really notice it in the winter because I guess I was wearing more like t-shirts and stuff underneath. But yeah, I, in the summertime now, I let them have it against my skin. I'm like, oh, it's a bit scratchy. I, I really liked the buttons that I used. I used these um, recycled paper buttons. And then I also found this little one in my Nona's stash of buttons that she gave me. It's a little flower. I hope it focuses in. There you go. It's so cute. Um, I just, this is my favorite thing I've ever made. I love it. I will never get rid of it. I will take good care of it. It is my sweet baby. Okay, next up is the sage skirt. It's tiny, it fits in the whole frame. It is really cute. I really love this and it was fun to make. This is another uh, Closet Core Crew pattern and I really just fell in love with this stretchy twill when we got it in at Core Fabrics. I honestly just, I love it. I love how it feels. It's really nice for like a mini skirt because it adds some ease. 
but I just, I haven't re reached for it as much as I thought that I might. I can see a bunch of threads at the top there, but I just haven't reached for it as much as I thought that I would, um, which is kind of a bummer because I really like it. Maybe I'll try to like get it in more now that it's springtime, but I was wearing it a bunch in the winter with tights and like a big black sweater. I do really love it. Um, I think what I'm realizing is I have been going for kind of like crazy fabrics and stuff since working at closet core and like subsequently being close to core fabrics and it's maybe not quite like my style as much but I do really I like this skirt a lot I think it's really quite cute and it was fun to wear so I should try to incorporate it more in my wardrobe I think another one that I really love is this John Arben textiles chestnut sweater from petite knit the only thing that my only complaint about this sweater is the yarn it was so soft and so nice to work with I honestly loved it but it pills so easily. Like I didn't even wear it that much and it just feels so pilly. Like it's a really soft yarn. Um, it's a merino and I just really hadn't experienced that before. Like it just, it pills so much. Like it looks quite, honestly it looks a little ratty if you ask me. Like it's just quite, quite, quite worn. And I think that, like I said, that's just honestly from the yarn being so soft. So as much as I would love to work with this yarn again, I don't think that I will. Um, I just, I think we'll have to be a bit more careful with the sweater and I'll have to depill it and all of that stuff, but I do love it. I love this sweater. It's so soft. It's really warm. I love the construction of it. It just feels so chic when I wear it. Like I just feel so cool. Um, I love the neckline. I made it, I changed it up. I did a twisted rib here and I just love how that looks and the cuff too. Like it's just beautiful, but yeah, it's um, a bit of a bummer that it's so pilly, but anyways, I, I really do love this one. Okay, this is the Fen shirt. It's quite wrinkly, but I will steam it before I try it on. I I like this shirt. I don't love the shape as much as I was hoping I would. I do love this fabric. It's like a raw silk or like a silk from, uh, it's a sustainable silk and it's just so nice. It feels really soft, but between the silk being a bit challenging to work with and the pattern and instructions not being that good and then also the pattern being a lot of the pieces on the bias it was just honestly a bit of a nightmare to work with and so i feel like it didn't come out as neat on the inside as i would like so it feels a bit messy which kind of sucks i don't really like that and i know it's not going to last as long and there's already a hole that i have over here in it beside the button so yeah it's it's not getting a ton of use because i don't love the fit and i don't know if i would make the fen shirt again honestly i, I found the instructions kind of meh but this is this. I, it's okay. I, it's not my favorite. I should maybe try to like upcycle the fabric and make something else more wearable because the fabric is stunning. But yeah, it's a bit of a bummer to be honest when that happens. My Paolo workwear jacket is a really fun one. I, I love this one so much. I love the pattern. This is from Spoonflower printed on canvas or a twill, I'll have to double check. But I really love this one. It's, um, it came together in like a, you know, it was a spur of the moment thing. I was like, I need to use this in my stash. I made a whole video on it. I got these amazing buttons from my local button store. Look how cool those are. They just look so good. I really love how 3D they are. They're huge. I get compliments on the buttons all the time. I also did this um, bias tape on the inside on the seams. And I just love how neat that finish looks. And I just, I think it's a really fun piece. Like it's not one that's gonna always get a ton of use cause it is quite like a statement, but I think it's really cool. I really like it a lot. Uh, it was my first time doing this free pattern. Like I said, I made a whole video on it if you want to check it out. So I won't get too deep into that. Okay, and the thing I think that is my favorite sew of the year is my sepia pants. This is a closet core crew pattern. Look at these cool pockets. They're like these 3D, really interesting pockets it's black so it's kind of hard to see but this is a linen um yeah it's a black linen i honestly love these so much i wear them a ton and i just think they're such a good staple i've got like a fun little tag in there it says baby got back but i honestly this has made me want to wear more elastic waist pants i feel i'm like what are you doing cassie like more of these in your life um they just look so chic they look so cool uh, i love they have like a tapered leg i love the tapered leg i find them really comfy easy to wear i think that the pockets add like nice interest and this was a really fun pattern this was my favorite of the crew pattern so far uh, i just really love the double pocket detail like 
it's so cool and they're, they're usable so they've got two usable pockets and the pockets are huge which i love i'm a pocket girl i'm like put everything in there if i don't want to wear if i don't like have to use a purse i will happily not use one but yeah these are the closet core crew sepia pants i am obsessed with these i made a size eight and this is a good size i'm sorry i haven't said the sizes for the other ones but yeah i uh i want to make more of these because i just love them so much this was a test sew that I had a ton of fun with. It's looking a little weird the way I'm holding it up like this, but this is the Sunrise Skirt from Jessie Lou's Closet. It's a delight to wear. I think I need to make it a bit smaller or the next time I make one, make it smaller because it is a bit loose on me um, and I messed up a few of the instructions, but I really like it. It's a really cool design. You can also make it, I did it with the shorts and just the shorts open in the back, but you can also have the back skirt, which I think is a fun detail. I really want to make one that looks like this Loewe skirt that is just like mwah, so cool. Um, so I'll definitely be using that pattern to do that. But yeah, this is a great pattern. This is her first, no, her second pattern ever. So impressive. Like she really has such fun, cool designs. I highly recommend checking her out. This is another one of my favorite ever knits. This is the Clematis sweater from MS Knits on Instagram. I will link her in the description box. I really love this diagonal button placket. I think it's so cool. It's just so fun. I really, really think it's so neat. It's like a Jacquemus sweater, um, but obviously not like a thousand dollars, but I really like this one. I made it in the summer in cashmere from BC Garn, and then I held it with creme key, uh, soul wool mohair. The, the mohair is a little scratchy. I will say it's not super soft, but I really like this one. It's not very seasonal. Like I can't wear this. Um, until the winter, but I really wanted to wear it black because I wanted it to be a little like sexier, you know uh, And I didn't I made it a bit small because I wanted Negative ease to like really open up these buttons and show like a little peep of skin um, I just think it's such a cool fun design. I would make this again such a fun construction Instructions themselves for a first. This is her first pattern release. Uh, we're so clear. So 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 clear Yeah, Emma is a treat and um I love this sweater. I wish I could wear it, but even just holding it makes me feel hot. The next few are in the wash, so I can't actually hold them up for you, but I will insert photos and videos and all that stuff. But the first one is the Crosby bias skirt mixed with the Wooster um, cowl top. I made a whole video on this, so I won't get into it because I honestly talk through everything there. But this is a really pretty dress. I really love this fabric. It's this amazing satin viscose from Core Fabrics. It's stunning. Really, actually really nice to work with as well. Like I if you can get your hands on it, I think it's a great fabric. And I, I did feel it really pretty. It wasn't really quite my style. That video kind of gets into all of that, but I really loved it. It was fun to make something so fitted. It was so fun to sew on the bias and challenge myself a little bit and combine the two patterns, even though that wasn't difficult. It just took a little bit more thinking than I normally do, to be honest. And then the next one, again, I have a whole video that I just did on this, so I won't get into that. So I made five t-shirts and I made a video on it, so I won't get into them. Um, I honestly kind of regret making these t-shirts because now I have these five t-shirts and I don't love them. I should have just stuck to my gut and like there's certain things I've said before that I don't want to make and I should have just not made them. But that's okay. I wanted to do it for this video and I, I wanted to do it for the video and I wanted to show you guys. And I also wanted to see for myself if I could make my own t-shirts I would be happy with. I don't know if that's the case. I don't know if I can get there. Maybe I will, but for now, t-shirts are gonna kind of go on the, go a bit on the side. And that kind of leads me into what I wanted to talk about in terms of making and what's coming next for this channel. And then also what I want to do um, for the rest of the year. So let's get into that. Take a seat though, cause I'm a bit tired of standing. Okay, so yeah, I cannot believe that it is July. It feels like it really came quite quickly, um, but in a lot of ways, it feels like it's been a bit of a long year. And looking at everything that I made this year so far, I'm getting this feeling that I like, didn't wasn't really sewing things that I wanted to sew, or I don't know, I, I'm not in love with my handmade wardrobe at the moment. And I'm kind of feeling like I need to switch things up and maybe just make some things that are a bit more basic, that are more everyday. That's kind of what my style is anyways, is the things that are a bit more practical and everyday are the things that get a lot more use. So that's something I kind of have been thinking a lot about. And I think a part of that is because I make things and I share them on YouTube a lot, I share them on the internet. And it sounds so silly, but 
you know, there are things that get like better views and so you kind of prioritize those. And I've just been feeling a bit funny about my channel and what I want to do with it because I've spent a lot of time on these videos and I think I've just been feeling a bit funny about, about this space. But I took some time off and I went on a vacation and I just was hit with like such a fun idea that like what I really wanted to do with my YouTube from the beginning was to share my love of making things and crafts and art and all of that. And so I'm gonna be exploring a bit of a different format coming up in the next video. Um, it's gonna be a bit more series based where I try different crafts and I share them with you. Um, I'm really excited about it. I've already started working on this project and I cannot wait to show you guys what I have in mind. That said, if there is a craft that you're interested that you want me to try, let me know in the comments. I would really love to hear because I am compiling a list of crafts that I want to try and give some time to. And that way I can kind of separate my sewing practice for myself and then for this YouTube channel I can really focus on just like trying and experimenting and sharing that with you guys, which is sort of what I wanted to do with making my own clothes, but it ended up meaning that I was coming up with clothes that I didn't necessarily love. So that is kind of the, the nutshell version of all that. That's where this channel is going. Um, as I said, if there's something that you wanna see me try, leather work or embroidery or, I don't know, ceramics, whatever, you name it, name something that you want me to try. I'm gonna look through the comments and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna compile them and maybe I'll make a video on it. I think that would be really fun. In the meantime, if you're still interested in all my sewing and knitting and making content, I have a ton of videos here. You can check out this playlist or you can watch this video. I think that this was a really good one as well. And of course, I always would love if you were to subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a ton. I will see you soon. Thank you for bearing with me as I took a bit of a break. I missed you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.